Hey, hi guys, welcome to the Quant Lab. The Quant Lab में आपका स्वागत है. In this video, I am going to be talking about a new book and a related code from this book around reinforcement learning. But before I do that, let me make a very small announcement. So I've been trying to create a sim small WhatsApp group of like-minded people where we, you know, try to create a community. No selling or anything like that. No course related stuff and things like that so what i'm doing is today 10th of december hosting a simple webinar around python and how to get started doing ai ml and the overall process around it and q a this is open completely free so if you are interested in having a conversation or are free around for you know like an hour around 8 pm ist on 10th of december please do register and join into the conversation register you know sign up in the whatsapp group as well it will help us and you know build a community of like minded people all right let's move further so i've been exploring some new books in this space and trying to understand what else is running in financial space uh, financial machine learning and trading uh, just to you know do a little bit of holiday reading towards the end of the year so i stumbled upon this book which is financial theory with python and this book has been decently reviewed on the internet so i'm most likely going to be buying it but the content for this book is uh, you know relatively high level and it's intended for uh, i would say you know getting started guide kind of a thing it's not too deep but uh, i hope it provides me a little bit of good background into the computational finance and stuff like that i'll check about you know if it's worthy of buying or if there are just articles which i'm interested in but the key thing which i wanted to get on is this machine learning and data science blueprints for finance and i was doing research in reinforcement learning and trying to find good content on it and somehow i stumbled upon this book uh, it's relatively old by you know modern standard it's like 2021 20, it's almost three years old book However, this is written by some good people in this space and uh, another code for this was available. So I thought I'll check this code out. So here's the Git repo. You can easily find that it's FinML from the founder whose name is Haryom Tatsat. Kudos and a big shout out to the person. I'm sure this has been updated. Uh, the code could be updated, but what I'm going to look at is very complete. So I've done few videos about machine learning, reinforcement learning in the you know in some of the previous videos but this goes slightly double click into all of those conversations and talks about the space in much more detail so i'll just glimpse and scan through this and uh, you know uh, convert try to convert this into more india related context and do a little bit of my own research so think of this as an initial conversation into reinforcement based trading strategy and uh, you know the next time or the one after that when we see you'll see something specific to india with respect to this all right so what what the intent is that uh what what the author is trying to do is build a trading agent that can take buy sell and hold actions and then there are some reward functions which is you know if you're selling there's some realized profit and loss if you're doing buy there's no reward hold there's no reward essentially that's how it this is moving up uh, the principles could be different uh, based on what you require but this is what it is and state the difference of past talk for a given time window the data has been uh, you know s p 500 but this can be always tweaked up and made or uh, to be tailored for indian markets and stuff like that i've also you know done a video on my different channel for keras 3 which is a newer library and i'm interested in bringing that and trying that with different backends and see how the training cycles and all of that are performed all right so the first part is just standard imports uh, i see nothing out of the ordinary you have numpy panda seaborn uh, matplotlib keras and collection so very very normal set of stuff nothing that will cause issues uh, installing and all that then the data loading part you can obviously do this using yahoo finance download your own data uh, anything is acceptable and EDA, this is very important space. I've talked about this in good depth in, I think the previous or the one before that I've talked about feature engineering in great depth. So if you're interested, please do check those videos out. Uh, sh share them if you are, if, if you like them too. Now in exploratory data analysis, I think there's just uh, usual stuff getting done. There's not a lot of 
in depth eda that the author has done i think there's room to probably understand a little more uh, about prices in my view about how this is shaped and study it however uh, this seems to be you know from the time that it has been taken 2010 to 2019 which is almost like a 10 year period the share price has been going up and uh, for s p 500 so which is uh you know an upward trend and there aren't a very uh there, there isn't anything which is out of the ordinary like very high volatile or stuff like that it's a very straightforward uptrending ticker and uh, uh, you have some sort of a dip here which i'll imagine is some uh, sort of uh i think recession or something if you further go down the line i'll expect something dip again coming around COVID. but that's what it is now doing a little bit of data preparation, usual data cleaning, null value removal and stuff like that. Again, nothing out of the ordinary, uh, which is straightforward. This train, train, train test split, sorry about that. Uh, so uh, simple 80-20 split is being done here, which is basically for people who are not familiar with this. Train test split is a concept in machine learning where when you have data let's say you have 100 records you try to break it into a certain percentage that's used for your model training operations and the rest of that is used for validation so that you know you call that seen and unseen data and something like that and this is typically done to check the accuracy and quality of a model typically you'll get good training accuracy and sometimes you could get really bad testing accuracy which means your model has overfit and stuff like that so that's more of going in depth again something that i've talked about my previous videos and will definitely you know talk about uh, this in today's webinar as well i might just take this code this is a good example implementation steps and steps and modules oh, sorry my english is really flaggy today uh all right so there's an agent class there's some helper functions trading module and scripts so this is an agent uh where there are certain parameters that are being defined for agent this is a deep Q learning model and uh, the author has just defined all the layers for that. I think you could also use, uh, I would say, pre-trained models and things like that. Then you have some act uh, which would tell what sort of uh, action to take. And then further stuff which I really don't understand. I think these are some DKs and uh, details specific to reinforcement learning which I am not familiar as of now, I have to go read them further down the line to be able to understand it. Uh, these are some helper functions, just getting states and plots and stuff like that. These are not uh, anything to do with the model itself. Uh, we'll see the plot, uh, how does it look like buying and selling plot and gains and all that. And then you train the data, right? Train using the model and the steps for that are uh, very simple as you would always do for machine learning. To define the number of market days to consider as a window size and batch size that becomes the parameter for the neural network instantiate the agent which we have created class before read the data uh, the episode count is defined and then you go on and iterate and you iterate over every day of the stock the action probability is predicted by the agent which essentially is buy sell or hold and uh, next every day of the trading is iterated the agent can act and base is the ad action, the stock is either held or bought. And if then there's some, you know, whatever the outcome of that is, you calculate some sort of a gain and then you, you know, loop, keep looping this over. That's what is happening here. And if you see, uh, this is the training cycle. And here, okay, there's some plots which I should show. So the first episode, uh, this buying and selling signal, you have some sort of a profit, total gains. Uh, in the second one, you actually ended up making a loss and, it, and it, it'll always iterate like this. It's not necessary that the first one is correct or anything like that. And this is more of, you know, you're teaching the model. It could go upward, downward, and it's trying to adjust its parameters and things like that. So so you are seeing a where, where a variety of answers coming out in terms of profit uh, don't take any of these these are not important but this is actually a good chart and plot for uh machine learning based trading strategies i have not seen something like this before so i like to you know pick these up and implement in some of my own code as well because this is giving really the kind of information that we need from a trading uh from a machine learning based trading strategies 
usually you get loss numbers and stuff like that which are not making any sense but if they are translated to profits i think uh, people will be happier so yeah you finally have some sort of a model printed and trained uh, you do some deep q learning and you print the model summary and then you finally test the data and you're validating on top of that so there you are getting some sort of a testing behavior blah 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 and again i'm at the end i'm hoping there's some kind of plot yeah all right so uh, if you look at these results eventually the model ended up uh, giving you a good profit of 1280 dollars which is nice and uh, the model resulted in overall profit so you can see that the dqn agent which is the deep learning q uh, deep q network agent performs well on the test data set as well now you can further Im improve and optimize this uh, you should definitely do more tests like you know back testing based on models doing a little bit of forward testing as well so this this seems like a good way to start so the next steps that i'm going to pick up right now is just take this model as is and implement that for an Indian stock and see how well it performs and you know likewise do upward and downward adjustment and see where I end up with all right so that's it from today's video this was more of just a walkthrough for somebody's code which I've seen I know a lot not 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 really uh, exciting but uh, quite interesting if you see from where I stand uh, this is something which I've been trying to get hand on on from quite some time and finding something like this is good I would also want to uh, highlight that there are more case studies if you want you know there's derivatives heading and there's portfolio allocation so this, the author has done a couple of different kinds of strategies again all of these are three year old I definitely think there will be room to for improvement in from a reinforcement learning standpoint the, the technology and the algorithms have definitely matured so yeah I'll try to bring in those optimizations and uh, talk about in future video. All right, just a final signing of reminder. If you are interested in having more conversations around these more one-to-one -one and interactive setting, not really a course, not trying to sell anything, just trying to build a community so that we, you know, people can learn from each other and grow. So please do sign up for this and the link for this will be in the description of the video. Thank you for watching Quant Lab. Bye-bye.